But man, I really like you really do get tired of taking care of people who don't take care of themselves. That's really it. Man, I'm trying to think of what else happened. Uh, it could be a funny story from ICU days. I mean, besides getting drunk ass soldiers who were you know, in alcohol poisoning, you know, or had been alcohol poisoned, whatever, because they drank way too much. And, you know, the alcohol detoxers. You know, I mean, there's just some characters that you will definitely meet if you want to go into the medical field. And man, you just have to whatever, whatever fucking the patients say to you, you can't talk back. You just have to ask them, what, you, what can we do to make your experience here at the hospital better? You know, besides you leaving. God, that was one thing. I that frequent flyers, man. They really get to you after a while. Like the 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 nice ones don't, but like the ones who are just like who just they like there's some of them. We had this one guy, okay. He had like one leg, and he was a diabetic. He was depressed. You know, he just he'd given up. You know, like you meet those people who just given up on life. You know, they don't bathe. They they don't care. They just don't. And, you know, I don't blame him, but at the same time, like, if you don't care that much, you're not taking your insulin, you can just stop coming here. Please. Please stop. Go to a different hospital. Don't go at all. You're ready to die. You've said it several times. Like, just, you're, um, you know, just stop. Either way. We, there's this one guy. I know his name. And oh, fuck, every time he came into the ER, I hated it because I knew he'd come to the ICU because he'd always be in uh, di diabetic ketoacidosis, whatever. Um, he would come in. Or I went in to work one morning, and I, and I had him the night before, too. And I passed him off to the nurse, and then I came in. I knew I'd have him again, or at least I would take him again. Oh, I remember what I was going to say earlier. But I, I knew I was going to take him again, which is fine. Um, I was going to take him again, you know, because he's kind of a heavy patient, not like heavy fat, but heavy workload patient. And I said, I'll just take him, you know, I'm already used to him. I know who he is. I know what to expect. That's kind of the big one. And, um, and so the nurse I passed him off to, she had just walked out of his room. She said, Hey, he peed the bed because he can't, you, you know, he, he doesn't try to use the urinal to pee in, in the bed. You know, he doesn't. So he, she said he should be good. You know, so he should be good for a while. He's in there asleep right now. I said, okay, cool, cool. You know, it gives me a little bit of time to check on another patient, you know, before I get to him. So I assume he, I assume he's asleep. Well, I was wrong. Uh, I went in there about an hour later, you know, like I at least got eyes on him while I thought he was asleep. Went in there an hour later and he had pissed the bed again. I said, and I said, sir, how long, how long have you been sitting here in this pee? Like, this is not the first time he's peed the bed when I've came on ship too. He said, uh, he said about an hour. I said, really? You peed the bed after you, she changed your linens? He said, yeah. I'm like, what? Why? Why? Why didn't you use the call bell or anything? That way we can come in and help you. He said, oh, I forgot. Like, how do you fuck do you forget? You're in this hospital all the time. You should know this how shit works here. You know what I mean? So you get people like that. You get people like that a lot who just really don't care. You know, that's probably the worst part. You get people who genuinely do not care. They don't care how hard they make your life. They will sit in urine all day. They don't care. And the issue comes from they can do that they they'll sit in that urine they'll get uh pressure ulcers otherwise known as bed sores from that their skin will break down get infected and guess what you're getting sued because you have people like that who will just sit in their own urine and then you you get in trouble because they don't use the call bell to to uh, tell you hey they need assistance you know I could have left him there for six hours and he could have been sitting in it. Imagine how bad that skin would have been. You know, it'd have been tender. It wouldn't have been bad, but you know, like that's the thing. It's like you have people who don't take care of themselves and you have to take care of them. Like they're like, they're your child sometimes and they're grown ass adults. 
it's definitely like one of the biggest challenges that I don't think like I don't think COVID highlighted for hospital workers is just how how much babysitting they really do because it's babysitting for adults nursing that's all it is but I remember what I was going to say earlier so when you show up to work for those of you going into nursing always go in early because typically what happens is um the charge nurse from the night before will look at the patient load and be like, hey, we have this patient, this patient, that patient, this patient. You know, and they'll say, hey, we got two nurses coming in today, three, four, five, six nurses coming in today, whatever. It just depends on your floor. And then they'll say, hey, this nurse gets this patient. Um, they'll get they'll get patient A and B and then C is discharging today. And then they already, they don't have a fourth patient, so they'll get an admit too. You know, they're already kind of planning what your day will look like ahead of time. And kind of like, you know, make it work for you. Or not work for you, but work for the team. Now what you can do is you can go in way earlier. Like I'd always show up like 45 minutes earlier and uh, just kind of look at the assignments. And they'd ask me if I always want to switch them. I never did. Cause I'll take, what, I'll take whatever, you know, because like our hospital's not malicious in that. Like our nursing staff was never like, like some, some hospitals you work at or some nurses you work with, they are very malicious and they will give you like nothing but heavy patients all day that aren't discharging or anything. So you just, you'll just be busy as fuck all day. And some, there's some nurses like that. So if you show up early, you know, if you're in that situation, if you show up early, you can change the assignments. You know, and that's one thing you can do. It's definitely like, I don't know, nursing's just rough in its own way. Really fly, thanks to my vehicular expertise. Right. Did you put on two coats of wax or just one? One. But that'll make it go much faster. Howdy, mates. Just wanted to drop you a fly at a desert event swelling at the Crest Coliseum. Competitors from all over the world came to play, and my score beat them all. Whoopee for you! I just didn't want you to miss out on all the fun. I need a little competition, and I'd love to see you squirm. Go ahead, give it a bell. I'll be the one laughing from the stands. A shiny new trunk is yours okay. for the taking. All right, crash and oh, that's good. Oh, we already did a race in Haven City. I don't remember. Oh, the out. Okay, so you got the outside of Haven City, and you have actual Haven City. Okay, let's actually go into Haven City and do a race. You remember the place, right? This city seen a sheriff fighting. Okay, we only need a few more medals, and then we'll have enough to. Uh, we'll have enough to. To do the Grand Prix, which will be the enjoyable part. Damn, those are some fucking turns back and forth like that. Oh my god, dude, this car likes to drift. Like it wants to go in the drifts and it wants to stay in them. Oh yeah, we did play this map earlier. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I miss playing Jack 2. It was just such what the fuck? Why am I not going? It was just such a fun game. Like we only beat it like last week or something too. That's the thing. Like, like I don't know. I just miss it because it was just a good game. Like you want more of it, essentially. Hey, you know, you can say Jack Three didn't fill that hole, and it didn't, unfortunately. But it was still good. You know, it was only a six out of ten, but it's still a solid game. It's just not as good as we all remember. Where Jack Two was a nine out of ten because it just it was every everything was perfect about it in my opinion. I'm not gonna lie, this soundtrack's a banger. There's an oil slick there, that's why I drifted like crazy. Who's in first? Torn. I kind of wish, which I don't think they had the technology at the time, but um, I kind of wish they had like a like a team racing system. Where like, you know, you would uh no they I think they had the technology at the time. At least other games did. Where you could um 
where like you know me torn and Ashland would be on a team together or something like that. i could pick teammates against it would be team racing essentially i think that would have been good for this like at least for the storyline you know that's my opinion oh Nah, eh, crap, he's got a fucking gun. Oh, crap. No, no, leave that there. It'll kill somebody. Yeah, like, it would have been nice to have, like, a team racing type deal. But it is what it is. Uh, we're not far from the end. I'm wasting this machine gun ammo because the machine gun's objectively the worst gun weapon in the game. Grenades at least can kind of... I feel like grenades are slightly better. Speaking of which, there's grenades. Oh my god, what is the- what are these fucking turns, dude? Like, they always, like, throw turns at the end of, like, a little jump or a bump or- like this- oh god, I'm freaking out because the end's right there. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh man. Okay, we're good. Ooh, we about we about messed it up. That that would have been like the sixth race where we lose at at the last turn, and it happens more often than you think. Okay, um, okay, we just need to go get a bronze. Uh, let's do. Uh, that's a long fucking race track. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to do Dirt Stadium instead. We need an arena win here. Oh, yeah, an artifact race. Okay, so artifact race or just fast vehicles in general will, will work. I thought I was in range of picking that item up, but apparently not. I guess you actually have to, like, physically hit the items. Um, come on, do I not have boost? I thought I at least drifted a little bit. Come on. Yeah, fuck you. Okay. But yeah. I don't miss nursing. Like, I mean, I kind of do. It's like one of those things, like, you can work with some shitty people. Or not shitty people. You can work with some, like... You can work at a shitty place like McDonald's or Walmart or whatever. You can work anywhere. And it could be... The, you could be, like, a construction worker. You can be whatever. But, like, if the people you work with, like, if they can make your day, it makes you miss the job. Well, not the job. It makes you miss the people you work with at the job. And that's really, that's really what matters. That's what makes some places worth the work. Like, that's, I mean, like, like think about, it, like, McDonald's crews, like, how tight they are. You know, or maybe not, you know, depending, depending on how, how well their stress tolerance is. Eh, come on. Okay, can I, can I please go forward? Thank you. Uh, mm. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done with this little mission and we'll have another Grand Prix. So that'll be two Grand Prix in a day. No, three. I'll be three in one day. We might be able to finish this. I kind of want to talk to my wife before she goes to work, but I mean, she knows I'm trying to do this as a job, so she might just just go on the work without saying anything, which is fine. Um, but yeah, that's really it. like depending on it's it's all about who you work with, not the job. It really is. If the people you work with are cool, and at least like you know are not even like they can be nice and that'll make the job a little bit more tolerable but man when i when i lived in west virginia the pill capital of the world i worked with so many fucking pill heads it's not even funny and those people are are off their goddamn rocker like they are off their rocker i think one was on speed or some shit like he was wired just always wired. 
Two of today's top contenders are joining me now. Cleaver, the muscle-bound god of Track Thunder. And the nimble and lightning quick racer, Jack. So, Jack, sources say there's a big bounty on you. Everyone wants you dead. Everyone except me, that is. You're great for ratings. The death threats and bounties don't bother us. We're not afraid to die. Whoa! Freeze frame! I'd like to go on record right here that I'm firmly and officially against dying. In any way. Jabbers, all of you. I'm gonna find you two out on the track. And when I do, you'll wish you'd never wedge behind the wheel. You heard it here, folks. The gauntlet's been thrown, and the biggest race of the season is coming to you live as Jack and Dexter show us how they became heroes. Okay. I'm trying to think, like, there's a lot of games that, that made the, uh, that bridged into, into racing games. Like, I, I don't think Ratchet and Clank did one. Obviously, Jack and Daxter did one. There's, I want to say there's, I know Crash did one. Let's see here, Jack didn't, Sly Cooper didn't. I mean, Jack did, Sly Cooper didn't. A Ratchet didn't. I want to say there's other games that kind of tried their own racing game. But I can't think of them. I'm sure they exist. I'm just having a tough time recalling any of them. Up your exhaust pipe. There, there it is again, y'all. There it is again. But yeah, if you're watching this on Twitch, this will be this will be on, over on the YouTube. So please be sure to follow it or subscribe to the YouTube channel in case you miss anything else. Plus all the other games that I stream that you may have missed go over to YouTube as well. Thank you, okay, I'm going to die here to Sig. No, I'm not. Okay. How many laps is this too? Sweet. And that gets a daily upload like like 9 a.m. every day at least one like if i'm playing like a newer game like when mgs3 comes out um it's definitely going to be like two releases a day or maybe even more like sometimes if i can like shotgun them all and release them all the same day i will and then you know just pretty much working overtime those days okay oh, we're still wow really that killed me okay i guess but I'll shotgun them all and get them all out if I can. Like I did with uh, System Shock and Bolt Gun. What I'd love to do, what I would love to do, is like if I really start making money off of Twitch, like enough to sustain uh, our family, I'd love to have my wife just be my, like, not editor, but at least be like a mod in Twitch and then just do all the porting of highlights and shit over for me. I'd love that so much because that would take so much work off of me. And it would make it a lot easier to like do a lot of stuff live and simultaneously um, simultaneously just uh, get clips and everything else highlighted and stuff. I think I think didn't Ninja and his wife do that? I want to say they did. I think that's what happened. I think that's how he got he blew up quick because she was doing a lot of his. Uh, she, I think she was doing a lot of his admin work and he was just good at the game. I think that's what they were doing, which hey man, that's perfect. That's like the perfect scenario. Then I had a viewer ask me earlier if I want my wife to stream. I'm not. I mean, that's up to her. If she wants to go for it. Hell yeah. But I don't think she will. Oh, so we're coming up on the last turn. So y'all know what that means. It's the most dangerous part of the game. See, I'm getting shot at already. The last turn of the fucking race. I can't English anymore. I can't. Okay. That's one race down. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Bumped the mic. Whoops. Ooh. One. That's kind of hard to time. I think I, I can't tell if I undershot it or overshot it on that one. Okay, so there's two laps here. So when we come back around, that'll be there waiting on them. 
Yeah, fuck. Okay, I dodged the mine somehow. Yeah, they definitely could have done like a team racing gig where you have like Wastelanders led by Cleaver versus um, oh, you have Jack, obviously the leader. He has Ashlyn Torn and uh, whoever the fourth is that you could want. Sig, let's say Sig for the fuck of it. Um, you have the Wastelanders led by Cleaver. You have the Crimson Guard or the robots led by UR86. Yeah, they could have done that. And then I'm sure there's other team potentials. Uh, maybe Haven City Gangsters, you know, led by uh, that one dude that was the demolitions expert in Jack 2 and 3. He was only there for like two missions total between the two games. He had one mission each. I don't remember his name, but that could have been something they tried, you know. Maybe they did try it in testing. This is and like it didn't work, but this is like why I wish game dev studios weren't so fucking tight lipped because I wish they would say, Hey, we tried this and it just didn't work. You know, you know, the, the team tried to implement this system into the game and we just couldn't get it perfect. It didn't work. It didn't feel good. We're like, you know, like if it was in the game, nobody do it. I feel, you know, I'd, I'd be appreciative game dev said, Hey, we tried X, it didn't work. You know, like I'm sure, like they'll tell you they tried stuff, but they won't tell you what. They'll just say, yeah, we tried, we tried a few things that didn't work, blah, blah, blah. I guess those turrets only stay up for so long. Okay. Oh, wow, I'm back in second. I didn't know I moved up that quick, huh? Okay, uh, I either need to die or hit a health pack. One of the two. There is no in between. Um, and there was a time where I wanted to be a game dev. I dodged. Like, I tell people that. Like, I told them, like, hey, I was going to school to be a game dev at one point in my life. And they're like, man, why didn't you stick through it? And like, well, I dropped out. But man, did I dodge a bullet. I would have hated it. I would have hated being a game dev. I would have. Because look, like, you, like right now, like all you have are indies. You have to be an indie dev if you want to be happy. Because if you join a big studio, like let's say you join a big studio, you're not going to work on some cool project or anything. No, you're just going to work on what's going to make money. You know, you have to join indie or double A studios. And even double A studios will put you where they want you. You know, it's very much a business and I get that, but man, imagine, like I wanted to work for Blizzard. I wanted to work for Blizzard. Thank God I didn't do that. And, um, cause I'd be working on Call of Duty. Which there's nothing wrong with it. Like, you know, I don't like the game personally. It gets old after a while. I had great times when I was a kid with it, but beyond that, Okay, see, they're about to try to... They keep trying to fuck me on the last turn, man. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I'm glad I dodged that bullet. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Because, like, you... You... They they move you. They move you. Like, some of them... They, some of them, they've been there long enough they can decide where they go. They really can, but others, like the majority of the people who that work for Activision Blizzard, like they just get told where to go. That I wouldn't work there for long. Like I really wouldn't, because like I don't I have I don't have a tolerance for bullshit or stupidity. And so like imagine me working there when Overwatch 2 is being developed. Like I would, I would, I'd be the first to tell him like, Hey man, moving this five to five is it five versus five is a bad idea. They went ahead with it anyway. You know, like if you want to get rid of the shield meta, which I think that's what the biggest issue with overwatch two was for a while was some was the shield meta. It's like, if you want to get rid of the shield meta, just drop the power of the shields. That's all it is. That's how the game balancing works. You either drop the power of the shields or you make the guns just do a little bit more damage or add a special modifier to where guns do more damage to the shields. 
That's all it is. But they couldn't figure that out. So what they do, they dropped a tank. And then they promised a multiplayer or a single player mode that's never going to come now. And then on top of that, you can't go back and play Overwatch 1. Do you, like The thing is, is like they didn't learn their lesson after Classic WoW. People begged for WoW Classic and they finally got it after years. But you think they would have learned that, hey, people like the gaming experiences they have. We don't need to change it. You know what I mean? God damn, this is a long track. And now it doesn't want to drift when I'm fucking cranking the stick one direction. You thought like I thought they would have learned. Like, hey, we Overwatch one should stay in existence. And then we Overwatch two will be its own separate game. That's what they should have done, but no. Bro, idiots, dude. Such idiots. It's simple decisions too. It's not like it's not like, oh man, we didn't see this happen. I'm like, motherfucker, like you should have learned with, with WoW. Oh no, I'm just bitching about stuff. Nobody's in chat, so I'm just talking to the ether, getting my chops in on talking. That way I'll, I'll be a pro at it one day. But yeah, I mean, Overwatch 2 is just such a disappointment. I mean, I wasn't looking forward to it because I knew I already knew. Like, this is something y'all will learn about me. Like, I'm right on most games. Like when I talk about them, I'm right. Like Starfield being mid, I'm right. I was right when I saw when I saw that 40 minute gameplay dem demo that they did, where they're like saying how amazing the world is and shit. Like I knew I knew right there it wasn't going to be that good. You know when uh, a buddy of mine. And I did a podcast. We did a podcast called the. It was first of all, it was called the Press Start Podcast, and then we changed it to the Side Quest Show because there was already a ton of Press Start podcasts on YouTube at the time. I don't know if they're still around. But that's what we were named, the Side Quest Show. And um, we we made the same call during uh, Agents of Mayhem, when those, oh shit, when those trailers dropped, we knew that it was going to be a piece of shit game, and guess what? It was a piece of shit game. So, same thing with Starfield, it's a mid-game. Have I played it? No, but you can tell by looking at it and the way people are reacting online to it, that's just average. But what do people do? They don't learn from their previous mistakes and they pre-order anyway, just like with Cyberpunk. Man, I hate this vehicle. It floats way too much. It's just bouncy and floaty and I can't do anything with it, y'all. I hope everybody's enjoying their time here. I hope I'm entertaining enough. My throat hurts. I'm going to probably take a bathroom break after this race. Go pee. Give me some water, maybe. I don't do that too much on stream, but I probably should. Then, yeah. How much time we got left on the stream? Oh, well, actually, nah. I won't get the water. I'll just wait it. I'll wait it out. I will go to the bathroom, though. Because I am dying. It, it hit me. The urge hit me as soon as... Um, as soon as... We started this Grand Prix. Oh, come on. I probably I probably don't need to win. I won the first two. Can I not get this stupid fucking machine gun? But as I said, like we 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 made the prediction on um We made the prediction on Agents of Mayhem. Which, you know, it like, let's let's be real here. If you looked at that game, like, like, if you looked at the trailers for that, like, it's no surprise it didn't do well. Like, truthfully, it's not that surprising. Wow, Jack has beaten Cleaver. What a stunning upset. This okay. Oh, shit, me and Ashlyn are in first. I mean, that should be it, though. That's right. That's three races. That should be it. And yeah, we're done. Good. Deserved, well deserved indeed. You're showing promise out there, old boy. What's your secret? Clean air. Love it. Ha <laughs> ha, love it. And I'd like to give a oh, shout I get it. I get it. Golden voice. 
yeah, yeah, wouldn't we all? Tell me, Jack, you just beat one of the top racers in a bid to qualify for the Grand Championship race. Your point totals are impressive. What makes you think people won't kill you for this? What, 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 what? Did I slur my words? Aren't you worried? Tell you the truth, I'm probably dead already. But that doesn't mean I can't take a few scumbags with me. Well, you made the people cheer, and that's good for business. Very good indeed. Until next time, this is GT Blitz, signing off. You got a sweet gig going here. Oh, it's all for show. For the bigger powers that be. <laughs> I'd be careful, though. I hear Mizo had a pretty sizable bet on this race, and lost. I hope he was watching. Oh, I'm sure he was. Maybe a silly question. Do you know if there if the different wheels affect grip in any way? I think everything on the vehicles is mainly cosmetic.